first time I really came over here. You know, I had a whole bunch of weird paranoid suspicions about what the hell was going on because there was a lot of stuff I couldn't understand. You're seven years old and someone is stroking you. It feels good. Our future is our children. Now, the first step in eradicating this crime is awareness. The, the jugs of plastic containers, they use their children. I think those go to the bio, bio labs. And I, I don't say, I, I should say that I know they do that. They send them to places like that all over the world. These bio labs, I think it's much, this is part of the whole business. What do they do with them in the bio labs when I they think, receive them? Well, um, either making the adrenochrome or they're using it to, um, from what I was told, um, is, is that and also for making agents to, you know, kill people with it. So, you know, if you're, if I'm a, a half Irish, half Swiss, they can get my DNA code and create a, a cocktail and put it off in an airplane and I'm the only one that dies of a heart attack in the plane. And then you watch a James Bond movie and you go, boy, that's really weird. So. Wow. Um, again, this is a way, way ahead of the public narrative. But, um, you know, I, I talked to some, this is not something where, where it's suggested to me that this is probably why this world cabal is involved in all of this stuff. And it has a lot to do with the blood of our children. The public is now awakening to the trafficking, but it'll eventually lead you to other places like Epstein Island. And in this film, We showed it to about 1,500 people in uh, Las Vegas. And during a certain part of the film, they were all talking in the audience. There was like five showings every single time, talking. So at the end of it all, I thanked them all for coming. And then I said, White, during this part, you were talking. And they all yelled out, Epstein Island. And I said, now I understand why they don't want the, this to be seen. That's heavy. It's listed in the NIH. Adrenochrome. Organ harvesting. This is another whole. That's when the whole thing went off with me with Tim Ballard when he started talking to me about that. But again, I'm here to, we don't go into that in the film. The film is phenomenal. I probably just chased away millions of people from wanting to watch this movie. No, you didn't. The, the, the film, um, the film is like it's a wonderful life. I said, what? This is about what? And how? Yeah, I know. What does this have to do with the tea in China? It is, if you weren't around Tim Ballard, none of these children are going to live. And as hard as it has been for him, he was willing to take it in the heart for Jesus. And King David, when David was a boy, same thing. And and I was the same thing. And God doesn't make junk, but he can use things that you've been through in your past. Um, um, and, and, and he can take you to a level that, that it's, it's, it's supernatural. It's just, it just no way to explain it. I was the best I ever was on that movie because I was unafraid. And, uh, and that love is the greatest in its form, highest form, 
is the best you'll ever be if you get to that place that you give your life for, for and I give my life for these kids. And that's what it did. I don't know, I was reading this thing and I, I would absolutely say it's 100% the truth. They will never be able to walk down the street again. That's coming without a doubt and it will be a great day. It needs to be, this needs to be done. This is the, the worst time in the history of all humanity right now we're living in. You know, when you read biblical times, we're eight and a half billion people on this earth. Biblical times, not that many people, but when you read Moses, they killed the babies. During the time of Jesus, Herod, they killed the babies. They tried to annihilate them. It's the same thing, same devil. And this is gonna end. Um, I, I know it, but whether I live, that I would give my life to make this end. I wouldn't trade my name, however small, that's written there beyond the stars in that celestial hall for all the famous names on earth or the glory that they share. I'd rather be an unknown here. Does not want to sit down publicly with me nor my husband to have a conversation. Oprah Winfrey is a slave trader. Oh, why do you think she has that school in South Africa? Why does she hang out with who she hangs out with? Golly, slave school in South Africa. Rose McGowan has put Oprah on blast. Rose recently called out Oprah on Twitter over her past associations with some controversial men. Rose wrote, quote, from being Oprah Winfrey, you know what you need to do and stop hiding behind what you call was negative comments. Think about something with me for a second. Not only are liberals being completely silent about the movie The Sound of Freedom, but now major publications, which glorified movies that encourage child sexuality, are coming after the movie that shines a light on human trafficking and child trafficking and calling it a conspiracy. Mm, they crazy. are ridiculing an industry that brings in $150 billion a year. That's billions with a capital B. Do you know how much that is? That is more than the NFL, the NHL, the that's MLB, and the NBA combined. Yeah, that's a lot of money. There's a lot of people that stand to make money off of that. That's an entire industry. It's almost like, you know, people in the highest levels of government and media and Hollywood wouldn't want to be destroying some like revenues they get on the back end of that, huh? Use your common sense. Don't forget the blogs. Forget how you feel about me. Hate me if you want to, love me if you want, but just use your common sense. How stupid would it be for me to, with my crazy past and what I've been through, Oh, right now, I just think I need to be a monster and hold girls against their will, chain them up in my basement and, and don't let them eat and don't let them out unless they need some shoes down the street from their uncle. Robert, Stop it. Y'all quit playing. Quit playing. Robert. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me, y'all. I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this I can't have 30 years of my Robert. Are you trying to kill me? You're killing me, man. This is not about music. I'm trying to have a relationship with my kids, and I can't do it. Y'all just don't want to believe the truth. You don't want to believe it. Why would I hold all these women? Their mothers and fathers told me. We're going to destroy your career. It's real girls out there missing. It's real young girls out there being abducted, being raped, okay? They really are on chains. They really do have chains on their on their wrists, and they can't get out. Robert, and they're ending up buried in deep. Robert, we have to have a conversation, really. I, I don't want you just ranting at the camera. <laughs> Tom Holland is now facing a massive pushback from people online, but despite all this, he's defending going gay. 
Tom Holland just released the Apple series The Crowder Room, which failed critically, getting only 30% on Rotten Tomatoes and a few people are watching it. It was a bad trend for his career, but for his last seven non-Spider-Man movies and TV shows, they all failed critically and lost money. Even though a few people are watching The Crowder Place, one scene managed to go viral showing Tom Holland performing a sex scene with another man in a man's bathroom. Which comes out only one week after Tom Holland's girlfriend Zendaya went viral for the trailer for the movie Challengers, where she does make out with two men in it. Tom Holland is facing a lot of criticism from this scene from more conservative groups saying it's inappropriate because many people know him from Spider-Man where he does have a younger fan base. On the flip side of that, there's also LGBT activists on the internet saying they're angry Tom Holland didn't go gay enough in the scene. With the reason being that even though Tom Holland does perform a gay sex scene and does dance with a man, he never kisses them, which has many people thinking he's afraid to kiss a man. For Tom Holland, he's not holding back support from the scene saying he wanted to do and thinks it helps the show. Though he is pausing his career over the show saying an emotionally stressed amount he doesn't want to act for one year because of it. For men making fun of him, remember he still has a hotter girlfriend than you do. And with that, I'm Charles Pearl. Subscribe to learn something. This story is so scandalous. And it's also a crossover because you guys don't know this side of me. First of all, a little commotion for the victim slash whistleblower. Let's talk about the Burning Sun scandal. This story has so many twists and turns, so let's just get started. Pictured here is Kim Sung yo And on November 24th, 2018, he got into an altercation at a club. The club was called the Burning Sun. What he witnessed was an unconscious woman getting essayed. And when he reported it to the staff, he got manhandled. The police got called and the police also manhandled him. He knew that this was a misjustice and he was not about to let that go. What he didn't know that he was about to be the beginning incident of a huge scandal, one of the biggest scandals in K-pop. I want everyone on my platform to enjoy this story. So let's define a K-pop idol. A K-pop idol is an artist in Korean pop music. The idol refers to the type of celebrity working in the field of K-pop and in the fandom culture of South Korea, either as a member of a group or a solo act. K-pop idols are characterized by the highly manufactured star system that they are produced by and debuted under, as well as their tendency to represent a particular image or concept. Back to Mr. Kim. After his altercation and mistreatment at the Burning Sun Club, he submitted a petition to the Blue House. The Blue House is the equivalent of the American White House. Submitting a petition is a political communication effort to address all the citizen concerns in South Korea. If the petition gets more than 200,000 signatures within 30 days, there will be an official response from the government to remedy the issue. Well, as soon as the netizens got hold of this story, it blew up and I think he garnered over 207,000 signatures within the 30 day mark. Surveillance systems in East Asia do not play. So when the story hit the internet, the CCTV footage associated with the incident also hit. And child, it was a mess. Let's introduce the K-pop idol at the center of it all. Song Ri, who is a member of the group Big Bang. When the scandal came out, he was actually in the middle of idol activities. But netizens don't even play like that, so his tour and all his activities were canceled. I'll see you in the next part. Crazy K-pop Scandal Part 2. In the first part, I introduced Song Ri, and we're gonna discuss him first, he is labeled number one. He was a member of the boy group called Big Bang. They were very popular and they debuted under YG Entertainment. Being a K-pop idol can be very lucrative, but many times not for the artists. However, Soong Ri branched out and utilized his K-pop stardom in order to make other businesses. But it was almost like he was real allergic to the law. Let me explain. He had a cafe and that was fine. He also had an academy and I mean, okay. He also had a ramen shop all really smart but then he had yuri holdings where he was 50 percent the owner with yoon in suk now korea does not play about how they identify people so therefore i found a blurred picture from him on korea boo and i will not be playing any games that's what we will be showing today it was under yuri holdings that they had the restaurant called the monkey museum more on that later now technically they were only investors and they were bought in for about 20 percent so because of the initial complaint made by Mr. Kim, a task force was created to investigate the allegations. In addition to these two, there were about several other directors that was in charge of running the club. Things like making sure that it was popping, they had investors regularly, and that their VIPs were taken care of. The public learned exactly what taken care of meant when all of their text messages and cacao talks got released. In the West, we have investigational reporting, but it's like the netizens say ho my beer. The text message detailed the men ordering high-end S workers and giving girls substances against their will in order to make them unconscious, sending the pictures to their VIP for approval. It was like all in a day's work. The text message also discussed 
law enforcement officers that they were bribing. And as if the Burning Sun wasn't doing all of that, it also was a trap house. Yes, they sold booger sugar. Substance use is incredibly illegal in Korea. There's a zero tolerance for it and you can't even do it outside of the country if you're a citizen of Korea. These two along with several others was basically a one-stop shop to the underworld. I'll see you in the next part. Family, they try to hide this lost knowledge from us, but the secret of the mystery schools are here. There is a reason why people like Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos and all of these people are wealthy and people like you and me not. There is a reason why some struggle in life and some not. There is a reason why middle class seems like they are stuck. There is a spiritual warfare going on and some knows how to defend themselves and some doesn't. Look family, daily we are being hit with all kinds of symbols and we don't even know what they are. But our subconsciousness recognizes everything. Our subconsciousness is like a computer program and they know it. And this is why they learn how to defend their subconscious mind. Look family, Moses parted way, Jesus walked on water, Aristotle was behind the biggest world conquest in history known as the Wars of Alexander the Great. Their minds were unlike anyone's in history before or after. And all these men had something in common. They all studied in the mystery schools in Egypt. Family facts are that what they did thousands of years ago till the day today, no one know how they did it, except a few people. The pharaohs attended the mystery schools and all of the greats. Look, and family, if you wonder what can you learn on the mystery schools, Family, they teach you the importance and how to master sound. But that's not the only thing. And family, look what this article has to say about the mystery schools. The teachings from the mystery schools are referred to as wisdom, enlightenment and esoteric teachings and have been shared through many ages of humanity. It is first introduced to the mind, then experienced through the heart and eventually become part of the soul. There's a German kid right now as you and I speaking. Subject I give mining. But when you look at his continent, wherever he comes from, there's no minerals underground. But the boys are, and girls are being taught about mining and minerals. Me and you, there was no subject called mining in, in, in high school. What mining did were you taught in high school? What's the process to start a mine? What, just tell me basics of mining. But mining is a strong pillar, probably amongst the strongest pillars of our economy. So that means that there's a child in, in Germany somewhere that's being prepared in Asia somewhere that's being prepared to come and run this economy while your kids are being prepared to come and work for those German kids that are going to come here in the future. Because your kids are being taught uh, uh, how, to, how to do nonsense, how to label an insect. Listen, our economy in this country, it's agriculture. Our economy in this country, I can, I can even break down what agriculture is. I can, mining, manufacturing. manufacturing. Why aren't those things primary subjects in, in primary school, in high school? So that you've got a basic understanding of your own economy. That means some people must come from somewhere to run this economy because your kids were never taught anything about this economy. So signed to continue systematic slavery and suppress the people of the day and, and make sure that the future belongs to those who are prepared for it. Spielberg is a pedo. See how easy that was, Corey? I didn't need $10 million. I just said it. Oh, I'm not going to talk about Tom Hanks either, who is also a pedo. Tom Hanks, folks, is a pedophile. I believe the monsters who murder children should be put to death. We uh, seem to have quite a good agreement on that. These people murder children and they do it as slowly and viciously as possible. We will not allow these animals to terrorize our communities and my administration will not rest. Now we're stepping it up even to a higher level. This has never happened before. There's never been any move like this before. Much of it's already taken place, otherwise we wouldn't be talking about it. I wasn't allowed to be a human. I was a topic of conversation and gossip and punchlines. It's just a few drops, but yes, we do consume each other's blood on occasion for ritual purposes. Is um, okay, let's yes. talk about this facial that you're obsessed with. That how many did you get the whole cast of Ocean's Eight to do Not this? Everybody. Okay, and, uh, good, smart. Just, ones. just, just those that I thought would appreciate it. Okay, yeah. explain what it is. Well, it's this this way in which um, one 
forces uh, through microneedling. Um, it's like a little roller with these, some of you, I think many of you know it. And it pushes through the skin and ruptures the collagen and then boosts it. You look like a burn victim for a day, but then, it's, it, but then it pushes the skin. What serum. are you pushing into the skin, Sarah? The serum. Sandra? Sarah? Sarah? <laughs> Carrie? <laughs> what are you pushing into the skin? Well, you push in whatever the facialist would like to insert into your pores. But what is it? It is an extraction from a, um, a, a, um, a piece of skin uh, that came from a young person um, far, far away, and they somehow figured out how to extract its foreskin from a Korean baby. I found was in one of the most obscure and ancient of the texts, a book called the Sefer Yitzhak. What which is a, that? It is a Hebrew text that has only been translated a couple of times into English. It's so mysterious, George, that very few scholars even want to talk about it because they don't know what to say about it. The bottom line to what the, the text is saying is that through language, humankind was created. They talked about the power of the letters of very specific alphabets. That when I followed the instructions in a 3,000-year-old text and I applied it to the periodic table, this there is what it was. This is what we have. God eternal within the body. And the God that is depicted in the DNA is actually spelled the way that the name of God was spelled in the ancient text before it was removed. Family, they try to hide it from us, but we are cracking the code family. Look, they say if you want to hide something, put it in the history books. We have learned that the history was very primitive and had nothing except horses and buggies. Look, family, historic findings from 1911 electric car charging in garage. We have been told that we are the most advanced civilization of the history. But look, family, a thousand year old city rises out of the sea. We have always been shown the dark part of life and history. Look, war, slavery. But family, why did no one taught us about the mystery schools? Look, because out of the mystery schools comes all of the great people, leaders, kings and pharaohs. Look family, Moses grew up in Pharaoh's home who was the leader of the mystery school science. Look at what someone has to say that attended the mystery school family. This sound has been the best thing that ever happened to our household. We are all just getting along much better. My daughter used to give me a lot of sass. Now she's pleasure to be around. And family, look at this one. I don't like to talk about this, but I have erectile dysfunction. We have been to urologist and nothing helped. Then I got to the mystery school coach. I turned it on and I shot up like an arrow. This has possibly saved my marriage family in the mystery schools they teach you about sound because everything exists out of vibration and sound you learn how to manifest look this woman went from this house to this house and this is the reason why we need a mystery school look the teachings from the mystery schools are referred to as wisdom enlightenment and esoteric teachings and have been shared through many ages of humanity it could be more accurately described to say that the teachings are absorbed within to gain new life rather than to commit it to road memory. The goal of a mystery school is to present the core concept of universal wisdom. Mystery schools teach you how to master your mind. Look family, Moses parted water, Jesus walked on water. Aristotle was behind the biggest world conquest in history known as the Wars of Alexander the Great. Their minds were unlike anyone's in history before or after. And all these men had something in common. They all studied in the mystery schools in Egypt. What's up y'all? So somebody asked me like what is it like for me to drink from a cup? What I do is I take the straw and I place it in between my tongue and the roof of my mouth. That'll create like the suction that I need to pull the drink out of the cup since I don't have the upper lip. I can't hold like fluids or food or anything in, it'll just fall out. I normally would prefer to do it in private because it can it could be a messy process when I'm eating. Think twice before you imitate your favorite rapper. Would you like me to show them how the sign of the curse works? 
Sign of the curse. different. How does it go? This is the sign of the horns. A curse sign. The two fingers extended. This way, spread apart for sort of shotgun blast, you know? The other one's, one of them's the pox sign. That's three fingers extended. A pox on you? A pox on you. During the Middle Ages, this yeah. was... Oh, yes. Yeah. That symbol that they're all doing, that symbol, he said, was a curse symbol of, of devils. That's the way they put curses on people. Right? And you've got people at rock concerts, they're all doing it, thinking it's cool. There they are doing these symbols, you see, and this is another symbol. Even though it means okay, it's actually a demonic symbol that represents 666. Don't do these signs. They're, they're magical signs. We have no symbols in our religion. In Ariana Grande's Break Free music video, you can see the seal of Satan. And also the symbol used for Kabbalah. Why is there so much one-eye symbolism amongst these entertainers? Have you ever seen anybody when you, you take a picture and he says, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've never seen any normal person do that. Why do they do this? Because this is their religion. They worship the, the, the one-eyed God. Horus, he's called in Crawley's mythology. Why are all their symbols with one eye? What's happening? And then the pyramid, because they believe in a pharaonic structure. They believe in an elite, and then everybody else, the masses that just follow them and do what they tell them. But Shaitan is inspired. Stretching off into the horizon, we have one of the largest tabular icebergs currently on our planet. It just keeps going. Something this big is kind of hard to comprehend even when it's right in front of you. But this speaks to how much fresh frozen water is down in the Southern Ocean. For anyone wanting some perspective, take a look at the birds that are flying next to this thing. It's probably about 200 feet high and that's just about 15% of what's sticking out of the water. The rest is down below, like an ice wall, drifting through the ocean. Currently heading east, toward the South Orkney Islands. Kinda wouldn't believe it if... Galen Maxwell just got put away for 20 years. So she was supplying kids for these fucking pedos, right? Where's the list? Is it is it, as that just gets like I don't know. Kind of weird that that got no coverage, but Johnny Depp and Amber was everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. And I'm like, so the list of you know politicians and actresses and actors or whatever that they talked about does that get swept under the rug? Do they not get any time for actually fucking those kids? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, like, this, that's weird that how that just doesn't compute with me. So all those doubting my NFT, you're looking at the guy. That's the reason that college athletes and high school athletes are getting paid today. Mr. Influencer to Influencers. Secondly, Jimmy Kimmel, viral this. I fight to eradicate childhood malnutrition from the planet. And until they release the flight logs, you, the mainstream media, Hollywood, we're all pedophiles to me. Eat dick. Or am I canceled yet? Dot com. Okay. One day you wake up and you realize that the Matrix is not a place. It's a state of consciousness. Just like 3D, 4D, and 5D. And breaking out of the Matrix is just overcoming your fears. Unlearning things you've been programmed since you were a child and becoming your highest self. Learning how to manage energy, frequency, and vibration. And then it's finding the others. You can still work in the 3D. You can open a business. This is what it's like to break out of the matrix. It's freedom.
look, lady. We're in trouble. The whole world's in trouble. They're all around us and we never knew it. You can only see them with these special glasses. I swear to you, we're being controlled by these things. I don't know what they are or where they came from, but we gotta no. stop them. I've got one that can see. No time for borders. Why? I have no time for colonialism. They don't have borders in Europe. But when it comes to us, they say, no, you must have borders. Why? The division of South Af of Africa is what makes them thrive. They thrive on the division of the African continent. Can you imagine the minerals of DRC combined with the minerals of South Africa and with a new currency based on the minerals? <coughs> what we can do to the dollar if we become a united state of africa with our minerals alone we can collapse the dollar we can collapse the strong pound that is based on gold yet they don't have a gold mine <laughs> so why do you allow such things family you see this man horace mann the father of american education and you see him, this is Pharaoh Tutmosis III. He is founder of the greatest mystery school ever. We went from learning about how the stars work, solar winds and health, to turn unruly children into disciplined Judeus Republican citizens. We went from living for 900 years to struggle to make it to 80 years. We went from knowing how to build pyramids and align them with the stars to not knowing how to build a wooden house. They introduced the 9 to 5 mentality and the mystery schools taught people how to levitate. Look. Go. Family, what you need to know is that the education system that we have is only 200 years old. Look, education system was introduced as a basic concept in the late 18th century. Family, it seems like we have been lied to. Look, since ancient times, it was believed that the sound of bells has a beneficial effect on human health and has healing powers. And look what she discovered about this mystery school family. Look, I went on a dangerous track to find out what this school was teaching. And it is, as it turns out, what they teach is sound. Look what more she discovered. Sound can give you every little thing you want in life, including vibrant health. Family, when was the last time you heard the church bell ringing? Before, we could hear them everywhere all the time. But look, family. It has long been known that the plague did not spread where church bells were regularly heard. In Russian laboratories, with the help of experiments, it was determined that the oscillation of the ultrasonic range of church bells repels bacilli, viruses and other infectious diseases that are transmitted to the air and even cures many other diseases. And look family, now there are only graveyards of bells. This is exactly why we do not become rich. We are not going to make it if we look at stories like this and pull out the wrong lesson. How many times have we seen this, all right? Okay, they're black, then they start getting a white girlfriend, a white CEO. What? Uh, uh, who cares? The CEO white. That right there is pink and that back there is brown. Now, Rihanna is giving us the exact formula for how to make more money. And I have literally been saying this over and over again because I audit and I work as a CPA in billion dollar companies. The formula is as follows. Every evolution of your money should require less and less of your presence. Rihanna's first stream of income required all of her, okay? She had to make the music, she had to perform, she had to do concerts. Then you have ads, okay? So she still is showing up, but it's not that much work. You go take a picture, you go promote their products, you're done. Then she had her own products, okay? She still has to show up, but the products will start to sell themselves. You reach a point where it's like you love Fenty. It don't really matter who the hell is owning it, right? <laughs> then she steps down as CEO, but still can maintain in percent ownership. That way you can actually leave stuff to your broke ass kids. Whether or not her kids want to work at anything to do with Fenty, they can still get paid off of it because of her ownership. We follow the same path, but it's not a rich path.
nine to five full presence self-employed still full presence maybe you can hire things out then you remove yourself fully when you're living off of your 401k hopefully but that leaves you with next to nothing to give the next generation so let's stop talking colors and talk strategy all right if you need help follow me i'm what you need on your feed Nobody is talking about the most important detail in Doja Cat's attention music video, which is this one right here. It's near the end and she goes up to a car. Scarlet is a vampire pretty woman character. It's very brief, but the next scene is when she's walking across the bridge. What this instantly reminded me of was the Streets music video, where there's a guy who pulls up to a car to look in the window to see Doja Cat dancing in the window with a bunch of objects. I don't think it's a stretch to say that the Streets music video was inspired by Amsterdam's Red Light District, where sex workers dance in the windows to attract people to their services. I covered the video Streets and Woman and why I think it's a backstory to the attention video in my previous part. Focusing just on the fact that there is this prostitution theme, walks up to the car as a prostitute would. Now remember the fate of the guy in the streets video ends up tangled in her web. We can only assume that Doja Cat is the spider and this is her prey that she's baited. But now Doja Cat is driving the car. I was curious to know what the car was that she was driving. It was a kind of Ferrari because on the hubcap there is the yellow logo with the horse. When I was first doing my searching though I found a car that looked so similar to the Ferrari which was this Lotus e-spirit car but I could tell that it wasn't exactly what she was driving. And then somebody helped me identify it was this model of Ferrari, which is a Ferrari Modlin 8. Now this is where it gets kind of crazy. Upon researching this Ferrari, I came across this article. Pretty woman, too much of a risk for Ferrari, enter Lotus. Remember the Lotus e-spirit? That is the car that is featured in Pretty Woman, which is a movie where Julia Roberts plays a prostitute. Now the article reads that the producers wanted to get this Ferrari car to be featured in the movie, but because it was the early 90s and, you know, sex workers weren't that mainstream and accepted as they might be today, Ferrari didn't want their brand associated with this movie Pretty Woman, which they also didn't know was going to be a success. Remember, Julia Roberts was earlier in her career then. It was a different time. Ferrari didn't want to be involved in the movie. So they found a car that looked super similar to the Ferrari that they wanted, which was the Lotus E-Spirit the car that I had initially mistaken Doja Cat for driving in the video. Which takes me back to her being an object in a shop. A red shop. Scarlet. First she was admired by the guy in the car. Let's maybe call that an industry that capitalizes off using women's bodies. But now she's the one driving the car. She's subverting her power in the music industry. I think that she, Scarlet, is a character that might be some kind of spider vampire or something like the one in Streets. And she is going to be luring men into her trap. She's played by the industry rules for a long time, doing sex sells and all that stuff. And now she wants to flip all of that on its head and do things how she wants to do it. But now Ferrari is happy to be associated with a video with this kind of messaging. My name is Barry Galaska. I'm an artist, which is why my brain moves in this direction. The best way to gain control of the most intelligent, powerful species on the planet would be to completely divide them from the love within themselves. As soon as they are old enough to begin creating an understanding of who they are, force them into a system that teaches them that it is wrong to be yourself if yourself is different from what is accepted as normal. Confuse them about their own biological makeup so that they think that permanently altering their body is the answer to happiness. Require their daily attendance at an institution that makes them focus only on the information that is provided. Make them attend that institution from age five until an adult and repeatedly test them on the information so that it becomes their truth. Give them an explanation to everything so that they never have a chance to make their own assumptions of the world. Scold them and humiliate them if they suggest an opinion that opposes that of their authoritatives. Keep reminding them of how cruel their ancestors were to each other in the past and broadcast how cruel they are to each other in the present. Only show them tragedies on the news so that they live in fear and think the worst of one another. Convince them that their species used to be that of an incognizant wild animal. Make them think that their very existence is so incredibly random that they lack purpose and struggle to make sense of a creator. Tell them that their kind is as smart as they've ever been so that they don't question the integrity of the system that they're in. Provide them idols with artificial beauty and use them as examples of what it is to look perfect so that they are never content with their own appearance and can't help but to compare themselves amongst each other. Create addictive digital platforms that rank them by numbers so that they base their self-worth off of the amount of followers that they have and are never satisfied. Build a society around them in which those who have money benefit and those who don't fail. Make money their main focus, but make it so difficult to accumulate that they remain in a place of constant struggle, forced to dedicate the majority of their time to the system that made it this way. Tax them in every way possible, but tell them that it's for their own benefit so that they don't think twice about paying it. Take so much of their time and energy throughout the week, but give them two days to themselves so that they feel a sense of reward and don't fight back. 
promote the consumption of poison in every social setting so that even on those two days, they remain disconnected from themselves and each other. Pump their food with excess sugars and addictive chemicals, but make it cheap, advertised, and easily accessible so that they never stop consuming. When their food makes them ill, prescribe them medication that only masks the symptoms so that they become dependent on it every day. Charge them so much money for health care so that they stay in a constant loop of consuming, medicating, and working. Cause chaos amongst them and blame it on a group of their own so that they form judgmental stereotypes. Turn them against each other in so many ways so that even if they were to connect on one, they would still be divided by another. Um, color can affect us up to three feet away from us. And also, if we are placed in an environment of a color that we do not like, that color can physically drain us. So let's talk about some of the colors. I have my little props here to tell you about. The first color we'll talk about is red. Red alters the body um, chemistry. You release the hormone epinephrine in the presence of red. Has anybody out here been so mad that they see red? You've heard that. You know, I remember my mother saying that because I do something and I'm so mad at you I can see red. Um, it will increase your blood pressure, increase your heart rate, your pulse, and your breathing in the presence of red. Also, whenever red is in your environment, you will eat more eat longer and pay more for the food that you eat in the presence of red. Expensive restaurants are aware of this. Casinos and bars are also aware of this because you'll lose track of time in a red environment. And in that red environment, you will again pay more or spend money more freely. Um, red is also a great separator of men and women. And that is not a learned response, that's an inherited response. Excuse me. Um, I need to explain that a little bit, though. Whenever we first begin, uh, or whenever we're first born, babies don't see color at all. In a few days after they're born, they begin, begin to see black and white. After those first few days, boy babies begin to see color first. The visual centers develop first in the boy baby, and they're developed more fully. And when a boy baby begins to see, he does see the color red, but it is a yellow-based red that boy babies look at and respond to first. Yellow-based red, I don't know if you can see the color contrast here, but a yellow-based red is more like a tomato red, and a blue-based red is more like a raspberry that has more blue in it. Girl babies, when they begin to see a few days later, they also see the color red, but the color red that they respond to is a blue-based red. This is an inherited response and one which we hold throughout the rest of our lives. So does this give you an idea of how you can use color in different life situations? Um, when I work with people with image and they need to present to, maybe it's a woman, and she needs to present to a group of men, then of course she wants to wear a collar that the men are going to respond to so they listen to what she has to say. She would not be in this dress. She would wear more of a yellow based dress so that they would pay attention to her. And the reason that this is important is advertisers have manipulated us with this for many, many years. We need to be aware of these things and know how color does affect us. The next color that I'll talk about is pink. And one of the interesting things about pink is that whenever we are served a dessert, a sweet of any kind, we will perceive that to be tasting sweeter is served to us on a pink plate than it's served on any other color. That's why bakery always comes to us in pink boxes. Also with cosmetic, the Mary Kay, anybody here know about Mary Kay? Mary Kay has pink in her packaging, that's her color. And whenever we buy cosmetics, we feel that the cosmetics are more effective When you see black eyes, like a uh, blue face and, you know, shit like that, he got beat up, but he didn't get beat up where you thought he got beat up. He got beat up somewhere else, okay? And so, uh, the eyes come out, and they call them panda eyes, and they do this to... So you see people with these cigars, and, they're, they're, you know, all these big celebrities, they all have the cigar in common. That, that, that's that big-ass thing between their legs that they're sticking in. And it's one big society of it. Now, when it comes down to the selling of the, there's shipping and trafficking and people 
adults, the moms, the dads, right there on Target commercials, right there on Walmart commercials. And you're looking at the people that are missing and they're smiling like they're happy, but they're going back to hell. And that's really what it is. You know, um, these are actually adults. Uh, Jeffrey Epstein created this saga. 40 plus years ago, this is so accurate. So I would like to thank each and every one of you for your hard work and dedication to our cause. In reviewing this year's progress, let me say that we have been highly effective in conditioning the people's minds to accept our solution to the world's problems. The energy crisis here in the United States was exceptionally successful worldwide, and we expect similar success with our upcoming food shortage. Our labor leaders have made great progress by causing confusion and work stoppages in all areas of the world. Financially, the dollar is being devalued even faster than we could have hoped. Politically, the public has lost total confidence in any form of government. The threat of universal war is a daily possibility. As you know, we ourselves do not need any visible office of leadership. As a matter of fact, it's better that we do not. We control the finances, news media, food, transportation, energy. We control everything. It is important that you, as world leaders, keep our program before your countrymen. With our World Bank and computer program operation, we now have the capacity to control the financial affairs of every human being on Earth by giving each person his own computer number. Anytime his number is used, we would know his financial situation at once. He could not buy or sell anything without his computer number. It will simplify their lifestyles tremendously. The end result will be a one-world monetary and government system that we alone will control. Yes. What about the people who forget their number, or their cards are lost or stolen? We've made provisions for that. By using this laser imprinter, we can painlessly and permanently affix the person's number to the back of his hand or his forehead if he so desires. The numbers would be easily read by this new ultraviolet scanning equipment. For the purposes of demonstration, I've had such a number imprinted on myself. Once this number is imprinted, it cannot be lost nor can it be changed. Now, are there any questions? What about the individuals who refuse to have this number implantation? We expect some minor resistance, especially from highly motivated religious groups. But eventually, hunger will cause even the most zealous to conform to our program. Gentlemen, I believe that within a year, two at the most, our one world government will be a reality. If we continue on our present course, it is my opinion that we could present the devil himself as a world leader and the people would accept him. When I was a little girl, I was told by my pastor that I inherited gifts from my bloodline by ancestors that were evil and demonic. And I was told to pray away the gifts and to, oh, what was the word he used? Denounce. He told me to denounce every gift that this man told me you are to denounce every gift that is in your bloodline. Spiritual people, I know y'all like can feel the weight of what he had me do. He said, denounce every gift that is in your spiritual bloodline. And I did. And I'm going to tell you the story about how all of this happened. What did I see? What did I know as a child? And how early did it start? It started from as early as I can remember. I want to say about five and probably sooner, but I don't have memories of it. There would be times when um, I would know when people would pass away. I had a strange connection with death. And it's strange that like I talk about grief now. Um, I would know when people would pass away. And also people in my family when they would pass away like uncles or you know cousins and stuff like that they would come we would kind of meet in this white room the night before they would pass it's almost like we would meet in this white room and we would discuss things and then they would pass away and they would go on and i know with my um great uncle my 
He came to me the night before he passed away and we met in that same white room. He had a white suit on. He looked so heavenly and angelic. And we talked about some things and when I woke up, I heard the news that he passed away. He was afraid of cemeteries. Not because I was afraid of like the dead, but oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to tag my sister so she can like co-sign on this. I was terrified of cemeteries. Whenever my mom would drive